guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is highly recommended. I feel like I say that every single video, but a lot of you guys have been asking about my skincare routine. So what I decided to do is actually take this request and it kind of sparked my motivation to create a new series, a What I Stopped Buying series. I don't know why it took me so long to think of this idea because obviously you guys loved my video about what I stopped buying and I thought it would be super cool to break it down into like all the kind of like categories in my life and share with you guys what I stopped buying and additionally what works for me and I guess kind of what I do own or what I do buy in that particular category. So I will start today with my skincare. Super short backstory, you guys, I have horrible acne or I did have horrible acne for like my whole life, probably since I was like 10 or 11 or something, super young. I had horrible, insane acne, so I have tried so, so many things. I've tried absolutely everything under the sun. I'll get more into that later, but I want to first start off by showing you guys what I do use currently and what really helps my skin stay clear for the first time in my life. I am experiencing like really clear skin. It is not perfect, but I feel like for the first time I have it way more under control than ever before in my life. So this is kind of my skincare routine on a day where I'm staying home, working from home, not putting on any makeup, or also I can do this after a day where I've worn makeup, after all my makeup is off. This is kind of my routine that has seriously been helping my skin stay super clear. And the first thing I'll do is wet my face, and then I use this cleanser called Dark Angels from Lush. So I'll just take it's a little bit out, like about that much, so not a huge amount, and spread it out. I know this stuff looks super crazy because of the color, you guys, but I love it so much, and I think it smells really good. So I'll just apply it all over my face, and yeah, it looks so cool. I really like it. Then I will go in with my spin brush from Vanity Planet. I absolutely love this brush, you guys. Obviously, I have seen these all over YouTube. I'm sure you guys have seen these brushes. So many YouTubers talk about them. So when they reached out to me, I was super excited because I really wanted to try it out because I have used brushes in the past, like super expensive ones from Clinique and stuff like when I was way younger. And I remember really liking them, but for some reason I stopped um, using them because they were kind of pricey and stuff. So I was super excited that Vanity Planet wanted to partner with me on this video because I absolutely love this brush and it is super affordable. Because of the old foundation that I used to use, the double wear, I got such clogged, clogged pores on my chin. If you guys are like me and you wear full coverage foundations, you should know that kind of like feeling of clogged pores. But I feel like this brush really helps get that dirt out that has been stuck in there for like ages and ages and it really just helps so much. So I try to focus on the areas like around here um, on my nose where I have like really bad clogged pores and I really feel after I use this brush my makeup just goes on so smooth and looks so flawless and beautiful. It feels really soft and gentle and great and I like to do this before I go on with my next cleanser is my Dr. Bonner's Magic Soap um, Teebaum. Okay, mine's in German because <laughs> I bought it here in Switzerland. I'm sure you guys have heard of the soap. So many minimalists like talk about it and I was like, what is all the hype about? And I decided to go and buy it and it works super, super well. Um, I feel like using the Lush Dark Angels with the brush really gets my skin prepped to use this soap and it like helps it soak in and really kills like all the bacteria. It just feels so great. I don't know how to explain it, but I went in with this soap on its own like first thing and it made my skin feel really tight and not that great. So using the brush and the Dark Angels, I feel like it just made it like I don't know, ready to like take in this soap and accept it much better, um, if that makes any sense at all. But it works super well for me. So I will just rinse off the Dr. Bonner's after I've gotten that lathered all over my face. And then I go in with one of my new favorite products, Grease Lightning from Lush. This is like the perfect like pimple cream for lack of a more like better sounding word but yeah I will just put this over spots where I have like active pimples and this works so well literally within like a few hours you will notice like a drash drastic reduction in the like inflammation of those particular areas so I absolutely love this product then I will finish up with my lush 
key lime pie lip balm. I love this stuff. Smells great. It just feels really good on the lips, especially for winter. And I'll just walk around like that the whole day if I'm working from home so I don't wear makeup every day. Um, so the days I don't wear makeup, I like to do like this extra little treatment. I'll link the products that I'm using in the description. There is a coupon code for the Vanity Planet brush if you guys are interested in it. I definitely would not be recommending it if I did not absolutely love it. I think it's a great product and it's perfect for people like me who travel because it takes batteries. That is so helpful, honestly. So that is what I'm doing right now with my skin and I think I'm getting amazing results for the first time in my life. I did not have like horrible acne which is such a good feeling I truly was giving up hope that I was ever gonna find anything that helped clear up my skin but I have been really getting serious about my skincare over the past few months and I've been seeing some amazing results with my new products which is insane because they're like all natural products which I never thought would help somebody like me with horrible acne but it's really working and I'm super excited about that. So items that I no longer buy. This is a long one you guys. <laughs> if you are an acne sufferer you know how it is to try everything in the book and nothing works. I even took Accutane you guys if you know anything about that. It is like a very like dramatic like drug if that's like the right word to say it. It's a very like um, last what is the word? I can't figure out the word. Like, last resort solution for people with acne. But yeah, I used to buy so many things. So even prescription um, creams and stuff, nothing was working. Prescription drugs for acne that you ingest, you know, in addition to the creams. I used to buy um, just so many different cleansers, all the, like the acne fighting wipes and pads and stuff, and nothing ever really worked long term. Maybe something would like dry up my skin for enough days like that some of the acne would go away but it nothing ever was sustainable. Um, so I used to spend so much money on all these products that make all these claims and absolutely nothing worked for me at all and it's so funny because the products that I buy now like none of them I guess with the exception of Grease Lightning really claim to like clear up acne or be for people with um, to benefit people with horrible acne but I think just buying products like and getting on a routine like products that exfoliate your skin and remove the dead skin and making sure that you're being consistent like washing your face you know twice a day and just getting on a routine really really helps. So I definitely recommend trying some of these natural solutions as well like it's fine if you want to try the prescriptions maybe they will work for you but for me nothing worked and I used to buy oh my gosh so many skincare things ridiculous amount of skincare things and use it for a few days, nothing would work, try something else. So I'm so happy to finally have it figured out. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye. And until next time guys, remember every single day you have the chance to take your dreams and turn them into actions. So work hard, be kind and make it happen.